everybody, it's Roxy from Fresh Memories. I have for you today a day in the life uh, project life spread for you. And so I'm just doing up this little divider to just kind of mark off where it is. It'll be right in the middle of one of my weeks. I think it's week 23, but don't quote me on that. Um, so I used the Ali Edwards digital file for all of the journal cards and they're all 3x4 journal cards and I only used the hours ones. So what I did was I stamped all of the hours for each of the pictures onto the um, hour card and then I um, put a little triangle enamel enamel triangle next to the a.m. and p.m. and then I just did all of my journaling on top of these next to these times. So this is the first time I did day in the life so I literally just took pictures all day while I was out and it was a work day and um, so I don't know if I'm going to do it again next year. I didn't really enjoy doing it but I figured since I already had it done I may as well scrap it and then see if I liked it looking back on it like next year but I guess it just felt like a boring day because it was just a work day so I don't know if that was it or or not. Anyway so I wanted to pull out and use lots of stamps on these so I just bought a new ink pad for my stays on and so you can see here I have a whole bunch of stamp sets laid out here and I'm just going to use them sprinkled throughout the layouts. Um, so they're all gossamer blue ones I believe. I will link them all below so you guys can have um, links to those if you need. I've pulled out a lot of things from my stash. So these are Freckled Fawn um, chipboard stickers, phrase stickers, and I'm going to use those throughout the four pages. And um, this is my Ali Edwards uh, time stamp. And I dress up each one of these cards a little bit differently. I tend to use the washi tape a lot and some puffy stickers. Those puffy stickers are from a Gossamer Blue kit. And um, just kind of dress them up. I have my phone sitting there because I'm doing the day in life. And um, I'm using it to stamp all of my times for these photos. So I'm just trying to get really specific about it all. So that photo was a breakfast photo and I just kind of journaled around the plate. Um, and I just kind of gathered up some embellishments that I just had laying around in lots of, that I had used up partially from different kits. So we've got lots of puffy stickers, I've got some alphabets, washi tape, some um, flags and chipboard stickers and all kinds of things. So this is the second page. So this is at 8 o'clock in the morning. So I've arrived at work so I'm just stamping the couple of times for 8 o'clock I had. So I have a photo of me arriving at work, doing some work and then having my cup of tea at work. And I decided to do all of the um, time stamping at once on this one side of the layout. Um, I just thought it would make it easier. Um, and then I'm just going to write, go through and write all the journaling about each of the photos next to their associated time. So there's my lunch, and there's me leaving work, and then I had to stop at the grocery store, and then when I got home my daughter and I made pizza, and then we watched a little bit of a movie. And using these um, wood stickers from... I think they're from Freckled Fawn, they're really cute. And some washi strips from Gossamer Blue, I think they're from. They're very pretty, different um, washi. And more tiny word stickers, and I'm just writing directly onto their photo. Pulling out my stamps again, going to stamp. I was having a lot of trouble with the new stamp pad, it was just too wet. So I just stamped that one there that says winter and a little puffy sticker to finish that off and a little journal tag with some puffy stickers and I wrote directly onto my teacup some tiny word stickers and just dressing up the top of that journal card just so they don't look so plain and those are the um, enamel dots I was talking about so I'm just um, pointing to the AM or PM 
um, for that time. And another strip of that washi tape. That washi tape, I really liked it because it changed colors from, right, it was like a rainbow of colors. So then I just kind of chose the pieces that matched the cards. And that is the second side of Day in the Life. There are four sides. And here, I think I'm going to show you, I didn't have the right sized, um, plastic sleeve I wanted so I just kind of showed you quickly that I had sewed down the middle of it to make it all the 3 by 4s uh, to match the other side. Going to go through and do all of my time stamping again and pointing to all the photos and trying to find the dates for them and flipping through my phone. And then the top right photo was the only photo I had a landscape and so I had to chop it down um, and then I'm using this little journal card chopped it in half and then I'm adhering the photo down on top of it and then it's going to span the two pockets. It was the only card that was landscape, everything else was portrait. Um, so that worked really well for these pockets except for that one photo I still wanted to include. And here's some chipboard heart stickers from Freckled Fawn and more of the tiny word phrases. And just kind of putting those on those photos that I um, have there of the pizza and my husband and my daughter putting the pizza together. Now I'm just gluing these photos down so it spans those two pockets. And then a little bit of journaling. And bringing out the stamps again. This stamp has the little arrows on it. I just thought that was cute to go on the bottom of that journal card to fill in that white space. And some enamel dots. These are from Freckled Fawn. That star is a chipboard sticker from Freckled Fawn. More enamel triangles to show AM and PM. And oh, that's a photo of a gecko on the window. He usually on the window at night, and my daughter having a bath. And then reading time, so I got lots of photos of her reading in bed, so I thought that was cute. Kind of documented which are her favorite books. So, you know, it'd be nice to see next this time next year, if I do it again. Tiny word sticker on the family photo. And then I'm just, um, f I flipped them all over because the other side was on the back. And then I realized it didn't put it in the correct order, so I, I'm going back and fixing it. Uh, so I put that in there, and then I realized it was in the wrong order, so here's me fixing it again. And back to the end. So this is the last page, and um, just don't going to do my time stamping all the way through those three journal cards. Now, Allie Edwards, she sets a, an alarm on her phone, and I only found this out after I did Day in the Life, but she sets an alarm on the hour of every hour that she's awake, and then she takes a picture at that time of day, so maybe I'll do it that way next year or, or something. Because um, I just kind of took photos all day of what we were doing, and as you can see, it's more than one photo each hour, so it got a bit overwhelming by the end of the day. But I'm happy it's done. Some more labels on there and some journaling. And then on all these photos. So this is all like the nighttime routine. Got my daughter into bed. And then it was just kind of relaxing before we shower and go to bed for the evening. More of that pretty rainbow washi tape. I really like that washi tape. Um, and some more stamping. So I'm just going to pull out some stamps. And I stamped on the angle. And um, then I'm just um, looking to see if there's anything else that I could possibly change here. So I just pull up my stamps again because that was one of my goals for this layout. I really wanted to use my stamps. So I just rounded that one to go around my head. And then I'm going to use another stamp that says um, home. This is, this is what I love or something like that, a home sentiment one. And I'm going to stamp that on the same photo but on its side because it just wouldn't fit. It's a photo and um, the stamp didn't stamp very well so I re-ink my pad and put a piece of washi tape over the bit that I don't want to stamp again. 
and then go over the top and it looks a lot better the second time. Um, and so this is, I'm just starting to wrap up here. So I'm going to put it in the, the sleeve and then I'm going to have a look at it and see if it is how I want it finished, how I want it to look. And I'm um, just checking all my things and cleaning up my space and then I will pull out all of the um, pages so you guys can see um, them together. So I'm just going to sprinkle these enamel dots on there. I just wanted to add something to a few of these photos. I want to take this time to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this day in the life video. It is my first one so let me know if you like it and you want me to do it again next year. And if you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye for now.